Chapter 1 Getting Started with School Projects Are you ready to dive into the world of school projects? It's time to get creative and have some fun while learning new things. As a beginner, the first step is to gather all the materials you'll need for your project. This could be anything from paper and crayons to glue and scissors. Let your imagination run wild and think of all the cool ideas you can come up with. Once you have your materials ready, it's time to start planning your project. Think about what you want to create and how you want to present it. Maybe you want to make a poster, a diorama, or even a model. The possibilities are endless, so don't be afraid to try something new and different. As you start working on your project, remember to have fun with it. School projects are a great way to express yourself and show off your skills. Get creative with your designs and don't be afraid to think outside the box. The more fun you have, the more productive you'll be. Once your project is finished, it's time to think about your presentation. How do you want to showcase your hard work? Maybe you want to give a speech, create a slideshow, or make a video. Whatever you choose, make sure it reflects the time and effort you put into your project. School projects are a great way to learn new things and develop your creativity. They allow you to explore different ideas and showcase your skills in a fun and exciting way. So go ahead, grab your materials, fire up your imagination, and get started on your next school project. Who knows? You might discover a new passion along the way. Question, what are some common items you might need for a school project? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Exploring Different Types of School Projects In school, there are many different types of projects that you can do. Some projects are hands-on, like building a model or doing an experiment. Other projects are more creative like making a diorama or a poster. When you are exploring different types of school projects, it's important to think about what interests you the most. Do you like to work with your hands and create things? Then, a hands-on project like building a model might be perfect for you. If you enjoy exploring new ideas and trying new things, an experiment could be a great choice. For those who are more artistic, making a diorama or a poster might be the way to go. These types of projects allow you to use your creativity and imagination to showcase what you have learned. Education is not just about reading textbooks and taking tests. It's also about learning in fun and exciting ways. School projects are a great way to do this. They can help you understand concepts better and remember them more easily. So, whether you're interested in hands-on projects, creative projects, or both, there is a type of project out there for you. It's all about exploring your options and finding what works best for you. Remember, school projects are meant to be fun and engaging. So, don't be afraid to try new things and step out of your comfort zone. You never know what you might discover about yourself and the world around you. So, go ahead and start exploring different types of school projects today. Question, what are some examples of hands-on school projects? Check the video description for the answer.